And we have team coverage tonight of everything you may need to know. Reporter Andrew Moore has the latest from Bell County. Judge David Blackburn speaking on that damage and injuries in the area. Plus, a local church that was in the path of destruction yesterday suffered major damage, and Darren Wallace will take us there. In the meantime, thank you so much for joining us. I'm Chris Radcliffe. Leslie Draffin is live right now in the field with more on the devastation that this storm left behind. I am right now in a neighborhood called South Shore neighborhood. It is off Highway 2484. And as you can see behind me, they've had at least a dozen homes with some major damage. I know across the town, across Salado, there is even more devastation. Judge David uh, David Blackburn was speaking earlier today about that storm damage, giving us an update. Let's go to reporter Andrew Moore on more on what he has to say. Yeah, Judge David Blackburn told us today this the path of destruction for this storm was eight miles long and it was actually actually a quarter mile wide. To give you an idea of that, we're going to go off to my left here. You're going to see a home severely damaged by this tornado. And then we're going to go over to the right and you're going to see that damage continuing all the way past that road over there. And that's where it was damaging a church. Uh, as well. And fortunately, right now, there are no confirmed deaths. Bell County agencies have, have they've continued to search this area to make sure no one else was hurt, and they've continued that search today. The next order of business for the county was to establish, uh, to make sure that they cleared the debris in some of these properties and reestablish water and power to homes that are still intact. The county says right now more than 600 homes have lost power. It's going to take a few days to restore that power. At the same time, many people on, in the county, they're just trying to salvage what they have left of their possessions. Judy Lynn Huggs had the majority of her possessions at a storage facility because she was about to move. And now you can tell, it, well, it's difficult to tell what that property even used to be. Hugh spent the entire morning trying to track down family photos and whatever else she could find in the debris. It was like finding a needle in a haystack, but she tried to make the best of it. This of my kids, so I'm happy. And we, there, we're finding more. We're just digging through the rubble. It's interesting, though, to look in a tree and go, oh, that's mine. <laughs> Bell County is also working to coordinate volunteers, coordinate donations, and whatever else the community needs, all through two phone numbers. The phone number for those who need help is 254-534-4562. The numbers for those who are volunteering to offer help is 254-534-4562. 2217. Now we do need to mention those numbers aren't going to be available until 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. They're going to be available from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. And county agencies are going to continue to try and remove debris from the area, from the power lines here uh, throughout the course uh, of this afternoon. And as emergency crews are assessing this damage, there's also actually people coming in working to try to help or try to help these people who have lost homes or had the homes damaged. Uh, Six News anchor Leslie Draffin is going to be focusing on that. So we're going to head back over to Leslie.